about is that I can fly an aircraft. Whatever I'm going to see doesn't affect my views as an employee. Neither, I'm, neither my brain becomes free when I call myself as a CIO. So I'm an engineer, I'm going to talk about digital compassion. Digital is pretty much a common word. Um, everyone talks about it. Uh, compassion is something which is uh, rare. Uh, how many of you guys are, are to code? How many of you guys code? Yeah, so, so one. <coughs> this is my audience actually. I, I, I write code, I build robots, uh, I get satellites. Uh, so hopefully you will be able to learn something in the next step minutes. Um, don't worry, my slides are not that deep enough. Um, if you give you a glimpse of a uh, thing, uh, it will be some introspection also that when I used to write code uh, roughly about four years back, uh, how I used to think and how do I think now. So when I used to write code, um, I would basically think of uh, a desired business outcome. There would be a PRD requirement document or something like that and I would start typing it. Um, similar kind of stuff was happening when I was creating products. And suddenly, a few years back, um, I used to work for a very large company and live there happened. And, and that basically hit me hard somewhere, real hard somewhere. Uh, because of few things, I don't know how many of you guys have actually gone through the case. It happened for a pretty long time. Longevity of that particular time and the journey of terror was through people. Mostly in the crowded space of a city and nobody did anything. And that really hit me somewhere. There was Facebook, there were conversations, there were hospitals, there were people. It actually forced me to think two things. As an Indian, have we lost our basic ability to help someone in me. And second thing, are we scared to help? So first question, I'm still searching for, I'm still trying to learn my own country. The second thing, I thought, it is high time that whenever we write code or when we build something, we think about few things, and most of, most of those things are related to compassion. I've got 17 patents in my name. Four of them have been converted to product. I talk about three patents which are currently in conversion. I'm going to put myself and my credibility over here. Uh, that why I'm getting those. And I've got roughly about 10 minutes. I'm, as I said, I'm an aviator. I start on time and I end on time. Uh, this is my credibility. So it has been covered before. Whatever I say is not too far. It means something. You can go and you can see. Uh, in other public. First thing which I am trying to win, and some of you have heard me before, is whenever I see glorification of services industry in India, I feel astounded because I see 18 year old, 19 year old, 20 year old, 21 year old kids doing same activities again and again and again and I don't think there is any pride in that. If there is a pride in defining an employment which basically says, hey by the way, you do these things again and again so that when you are 34 years old, you will get arthritis in your right or left hand and you will have only muscle memory in your brain, then I don't think that's the right definition. You go to an airline counter, you go to an airport reception, you go to a hospital, you go to a PTO, you go to any damn place. And you see the scenario. 
the pride of services in India. So I thought, I will create a robot. I will create a robot which a mechanic in front of Shiva Mata Temple in Gurgaon can fabricate, he can maintain it, and probably it will assume several industries. But that 19 year old kid will not tie those seven, eight pieces again and again. They will supervise those machines. Hence, that is the premises, hypothesis of my thinking and not papers which I'm trying to convert into actual products are related to robotics. Those robotics are, those robots or those machines are cheap machines built in low, built locally, built for Indian purposes, for Indian environment, and anyone who is a non-engineer should be able to do that. Build it, maintain it, create an ecosystem for that. Idea is, even if you see education system of India today, it is compassionate to, keep, to give you bread and butter. It is not compassionate to enable you so that you create more jobs. And that's what we require. That's actual requirement. Otherwise, we will never be able to build these large mammoth Goreva companies. No democracy, no right capitalism has survived on large industries. So my request to you that when you actually go back, directly or indirectly, germinate concepts or create space so that you create more environment. My, one of my ways is build robots in villages, build smart satellites which can transmit internet into villages because nobody wants to go there. And in your space, maybe startups, germinate as many startups as you can. Germinate. Let them create 5 jobs, 10 jobs, 20 jobs. Because most software and most hardware we have in this particular country is actually not built for this particular country and that's a fact. So that's my first premise. My second one which I hear is redefine requirement. Please do that. Make it a mix of productivity and creativity both. Build products, build large platforms. We still don't have direct democracy. A lot of people talk to me, Ravi, how am I going to do that? And in one of my meetings with one of some of the senior ministers of three different countries, I said, use blockchain. Create note for each and every citizen. So that even minority voice is noted at least if not agreed upon. And there are so many use cases for that. So my second premise is, is redefine one. My way is that I'm, as I said, I'm just an engineer. Karigar aati hai. Because banani aati hai. Maybe you guys employ hundreds and thousands of people. Encourage two of them to become entrepreneurs. Somebody come, is coming from outside, understand, encourage them, find out budgets. My third thing is, build locally, cheaply, cohesively in this country. This is the actual image of a visa, which is currently used in hills, bordering Tibet, bordering Himachal, some place of the function, and now little bit in Jharkhand. It actually costs you just about 57,000 rupees. Anyone in this room who is selling satellites over here, it has, it has been built by students of third semester of a two-year education institute. It has been fabricated, fabricated by diploma holders. And it has been used in different ways. And it can actually take a short step up and it can build that. Please build it. Please do that. Find small, small places, small, small spaces in your large companies where you can do these genuine experimentations. Do these genuine experimentations with people who are carriers like me. Angrezi, Achini, Bolsakte, Hunar, Ali, Kanar. 
is what? Encourage them. Also encourage them that you are from your locality. Say. Find out people from your own locality. Train them. Then, that's the only way we can actually have employment and my definition of employment. Now, before practical reality is said, some of you guys will go to your rooms, go to your board, do your business cases, in some business cases, but I will not push you It is your opportunity also, before you retire, to make your mark. As a CIO, I don't think anyone can make a mark. You don't make mark in any kind of society by having a designation. You make your mark by either giving knowledge or creating a product or helping someone to create an industry or create your industry yourself or do farming at least. Produce something. So this is not something which is oh I want to give. Leave your legacy. Major mark. That's all I have to say. Thank you. Thank you for this.